Good morning. I uh, just wanted to see if you guys wanted to know what uh, hate and spite look like. So I'm going to show you. If it's still there, I'm sure it is. Because hate and spite last a long time. Yeah, baby! Okay, it's not there. I'm going to go down because they're not there and move the vehicle. But, okay, hate was behind us. He pulled up right in behind us and parked. And I'm parallel parked next to the curb. Um, I'm from the country. We did not have to parallel park. Where's your papa? We did not have to parallel park in the country, okay? We didn't even, it wasn't even a requirement to get your license. So I parallel parked and I did a really good job. Um, now behind me, somebody parked and they parked right on top of me, like not even a foot of space and they were completely empty in the back so i don't know why they did that okay that was hate and then spite was the guy in front of me who has a handicapped parking space which is fine i mean the space is like twice the size of his vehicle which is a mazda mpv i think it's a van like a short little minivan he parked he had about seven or eight feet in front of him and he parked, he backed all the way back into us. And I couldn't even walk through that space. Okay, so I had hate behind me and spite in front of me and we were completely blocked in. And it's not like you can just knock on their door because they have a fence and like a courtyard and then they have like this two story kind of building house thing. I'm not even sure like how many people live in that. Cause I, don't, I don't know if it's a house or a duplex or an apartment or whatever, but the houses are like all weird along that street. So I wouldn't even know like where these people live or how to knock on their door and everybody has a dog. So I, you know, the car just would have been blocked in there. That, that's spite. That's spiteful. That's, that's the only thing I can think of. The car in front of them, I was thinking, okay, maybe they wanted to make sure that they could get out. Like if they had an emergency, they could get out. Okay, the car in front of them is disabled. It's a Volkswagen bug and it hasn't traveled since we've lived here. It hasn't moved. Okay. And you can tell it's not moved because it's dirty. The roof is caved in the whole, everything is cracked around it. Like where people have been like sitting on it and damaging it. And there's cat marks all over it. This car has not moved. There's puddles of leaves everywhere. So they know that they would be able to get out. So I, that's spite, that's spite. Spite and hate parked in front and behind us and blocked us in. And this is, this is, uh, this is Israel. This is my experience of Israel. And Hadar last night, you know, he was really upset. And I said, well, who could you call? You can't call nobody. You can't call anybody about it. And I, I said, uh, yeah, it's my experience that all Israelis are like this. And he said, that's not true. And I said, that's my experience. I've not experienced anybody that wasn't loud mouth and thought that everything belonged to them and, and you know, that uh, they're deserving more than anybody else, than everybody else. So uh, the, that's my experience of Israel, spite and hate. That's my experience. I don't know what they have experienced in their life to do that to other people or to not think of other people or to do that on purpose to other people, but that's what they do. That's what they do here. So now I'm going to take the keys. I'm going to back up so hate can't, you know, block me out. And spite can't block me. So spiteful. So hateful. I'm done ranting. I'll, I'll just show you. Okay, spite just got home and I guess they needed something out of the trunk of their vehicle and couldn't park one foot away from us anymore. So they did park right. This is my vehicle. And this is theirs. Now this Volkswagen does not move. So there's like plenty of space. Plenty. For him to get in and out. I want to hang out in the sun for a while because the baby needs some sun. But the flies are so hey. bad. Ugh.
<laughs> yeah. You're getting some sun. You're getting all sunned up. They singing and dancing. Yeah. Don't eat it. <laughs> no, no. Oh, look at the stray kitty. Look at the stray kitty. No. Raphael. No. 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 <laughs> What's wrong with you, boy? <laughs> okay, let's go. <laughs> okay, that was a fiasco. I'll show you what I did this weekend. Raphael's bedroom. It's not how I want it at all. Um, it's not functional. It's not pretty. Um, I just, it needs a great big change. So it's going to change when we go to Ikea. So I'm going to get an Expedit finally. And I'm going to have it just take up one whole wall. And I'm going to get rid of everything here. The wall of just stuff. The, I got homeschool stuff. I emptied these blocks into here. So he's got that. Um, this table's gone. That's gone. The computer. He won't have a computer in here. Sewing machine gonna be moved. Table gone. Expedite there. And it's gonna look much neater. Much, much neater. I'll probably put this dresser over there. Probably put the bed over here. Well, hello kitty. No. And see, this dresser is very unsafe right now because we don't have a thing for it to screw it to the wall. So he could tip this over on him if he were to climb up there. So he's not allowed in here by himself. I have a bench, it's a toy box too, and I don't want him to go into it. So I put the piano on it, which I'm, I'm fine with that area. But, you know, where do I put the fan? I had to put it on top of the bench. The bedding, I have two. Oh, yeah, I know. Yeah, I'm telling them about... I'm telling them about your bed. Well, you got paper in your mouth? Okay. I have two of these dust ruffles down here, and it just looks bad. But it's hiding all of the suitcases. I want to kind of fix that. Fix that somehow where it looks good, you know. That's a medicine cabinet that Hadar found and gave to me, and I painted it. It's a cute mirror for, like, guests that come over. They can look at themselves. And I need some kind of artwork or something here. I thought about painting a tree and putting a bunch of pictures on it and maybe hanging some monkeys. But this is so messy, and it doesn't matter what I do. It becomes a catch-all. This robot is actually the neatest thing in the whole world. I got it at Circuit City before they went out of business, and I got it for Zeb when he was like, I don't know, eight or something. Something crazy like that. How do I turn you on? That's what she said. Zeb, how do I turn this on? So yeah, this room is going to have a big change. I might even put the expedite on this wall. What do you think? Should I put it? Should I leave this open for maybe a smaller desk? Because we do have to do homeschool in here. And put the expedit along this wall. I want to get the huge one, the hugest one they got. I have all my stuff put in it, all of his homeschool stuff. But that just looks terrible. And every time I come in here, I just, I really, it irritates me. <laughs> Look at me. Kitty, what's the fuss? Kitty, is there a pigeon down there? Kitty? Kitty, is there a pigeon? Oh, the baby just got it. <laughs> oh, did that old kitty do you wrong? We're eating hamburger with some black rice pasta and spaghetti sauce. Oh, yeah. You can do it yourself, huh? Mm, good job. Let me get some more. Okay, there you go. All right, good.
All right, don't take a spin though, cause I need it. I gotta get you some more. Oh okay. uh, yeah, I know. That old kitty. I think kitty upset him just a little bit. Very good. Hadar is coming home. He wasn't supposed to come home tonight, so um, really happy about that, cause I wouldn't have slept tonight. I already know that. So. I'm getting you more. I'm getting you some more. Look. Get it in my face, Mom. Get it in my face. I got to have it. Sunday is always like um, a really busy day because I have to make a video for my other channel too. So, and Hadar's home. Look. Daddy's home. He went to go get groceries. Hey, Daddy. Welcome home. Hi, Daddy. Uh -huh. What's he done? Looks like he ate cake. <laughs> He's eating by himself. No, he don't want Abba. cake. He, he says, look, look, hey. daddy, I'm using a spoon. Abba. Abba. Abba means dad in uh, Hebrew. Yeah. Abba. Go ahead. Abba. 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 Nah. <laughs> That's why I didn't get excited about that. Is Abba home? Abba? Brand new. Yeah, brought your leather man Brack brand new. <laughs> Spoon, fork, knife, and oh. two types of openers, bottle openers. Oh, okay. This says it's renewed. Camping. It's not new, but I they got fixed his leather man because it broke off. Brand new Two brand oh, great. new bits. It's one. Well, you didn't need those, but. Well, yeah, it's nice to have new ones. Yeah, yeah it is because the other ones There's were pretty rough. One. I still have the other ones, so I just took them off of here. Yeah. So they replaced them. Bat. Bat. And oof. Bat. Sharp knife. <laughs> they probably sharpened it for you, too. Yeah, they did. Yeah. Be careful with that. Well, no, don't is, don't ruin it. This is always sharp, but this is really sharp, too. It looks like it's really brand new. I mean, look at it. It's 2012, it says. See, it's got no cuts, nothing on it. Yeah, they probably just gave you a brand new one. It's not, Daddy, hmm. I did my makeup real good today. <laughs> good. I made you some black rice pasta with sauce. That was from movie, by the way. With some sauce. What? Just like now. Just like now. I don't know it. Do you I? Do. do I? Did we watch it recently? No. It's a two uh, the Albino brothers from the Matrix. Yeah. They get shot. You know, oh yeah, arm, okay. All right. Arm blows off, it's just like new. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This because my shoelaces are bad. My shoelaces. Do are you bad. have to cut those? Yeah. Oh well, don't get rid of the. I got that with nothing in it. Yeah. From ricochet. Oh, okay, ricochet. Yeah. <laughs> you want some more food, kid? Ah. Okay. Ah. Yeah, the baby's going to eat the rest of his food. You gotta put the stuff in the fridge. You wanna show what I got? Oh yeah, let's go see what daddy got. Cottage. Here, okay, you gotta put the baby's thing on because he's only strapped in. Uh, lettuce, cottage, cheese, eggs. Lettuce, cottage, cheese, eggs. That's what I keep <laughs> saying to myself. Lettuce, cottage, cheese, eggs. Lettuce, cottage, cheese, eggs. Oh yeah. Lettuce, cottage, cheese, eggs. Lettuce, cottage, cheese, eggs. Wait, wait, wh where's the cheese? You know what it's Regular, Where's the cheese? Kind of Regular, ordinary. Lettuce. Oh, cheese, butter, yogurt. Yogurt too. Yeah. Eggs, yeah. Avocado. Great job, honey. Avocado. And the most important thing is under those cottage. I see that. <laughs> There's Sadar's food. This is black rice pasta, so it's gluten free. The black rice pasta, it really does taste good. All this was was tomato paste, stevia, hamburger meat, onions, black rice pasta, and butter. The butter helps too. It's so good. Hey, baby. Hey, baby. I got another baby. Are we watching Wolfie? Yeah, I'm gonna finish feeding him. No, I what I'm saying is we need to start work on these vows. Mm. 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 Yummy. About these vows, we. In your little sleeper, cause it's cool outside, and you're so cute. Good 
Good job, baby. Yay! He was a little robot. Ah. Ah. Yeah, that's ah. Google. Really? That's Google. Hey, Google. Ah. What does a fox ah. say? You want more of that, Daddy? <laughs> it's catchy, isn't it? No. This is that the best song ever, Daddy? Oh, gotta run for that song. It was great. Almost broke his face. <laughs> Raphael, you you have to end your childhood with all your teeth. <laughs> so I was just saying, like, a good ending for. Of the Big Bang Theory would be for them to be all really playing World of Warcraft together and then they they like imagine their whole lives together you know like they're not really living in the life but the best series ending well at first it was Little House on the Prairie I thought that was a very good series ending and then the second that like beat Little House on the Prairie is Roseanne. Every time I watch the last episode of Roseanne, I cry. It was very good. Uh, Hadar has never seen it. The, what he's seen of it was like one of the very first shows of it, and he said it wasn't very good, but Roseanne is hilarious in my opinion. What do you think is the best series ending? I can't even think of anything right now. Well, I didn't think Dexter was very memorable. Dexter sucked. <laughs> yeah. True Blood better be good. Breaking Bad was good. Breaking Bad was it okay. Was epic. But still, I, I, I still kind of forgot what the ending was, except for the... So. He went back to town. Hey, some people may not have seen it yet. They better have. No, okay, spoiler no, alert. no, spo don't. Spoiler alert. No, don't. Some people have not finished That's the series yet. That's why you yet. say spoiler alert before you put it on there. Some people have not seen it yet, so... Don't want to spoil it for them. Spoiler. See, I did my series ending without spoiling it. <laughs> what? No! <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> really? Wait, 10 minutes. <laughs> Surprise, mother Surprise, mother Now how am I gonna bleep that out 10 times? We spent hours laughing at this. <laughs> and also, is that unforgivable? Oh, Kitty, she she really cusses a lot. She, she says beep 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 beep. Looks back. <laughs> That's what she says all the time. Oh, Kitty is so pretty. Kitty is so, so pretty. Oh, bits and kitty, pieces. Kitty, Kitty, are you pretty, Kitty? Look, she's just loving it, loving it, Kitty. Yeah, Kitty. Like, oh, thank oh, you, yeah. thank you very much. Oh yeah, look, look at her, what's she doing? <laughs> She's gonna fall? I am. Oh, you're gonna fall, much. Kitty? Like, no. No, I'm not gonna fall. Bits and pieces! Mutter trucker! The way Unforgivable guy speaks is just hilarious. And you can, you can copy what he <laughs> says without even knowing what he says. I was walking in the woods. Is that unforgivable? She's just there on a couch, just looking mean. <laughs> I said, Kitty! You better look over here or I'll get you, Kitty. <laughs> Is that unforgivable? <laughs> kitty. I say, Kitty. Make me a sandwich. <laughs> get off my bed, fool. <laughs> kitty, 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 kitty. But she cusses in a funny way, not in a. She doesn't hurt our feelings or anything. No. She's just funny because she she's there. She just calls us bits and pieces. You're not going to get that on our vlog, are you? <laughs> This whole thing is going to get deleted. <laughs> the deleted scenes. I don't know. From October 13th. I don't know. You wearing underwears? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks so for watching. We Have a great day. Morning, See you tomorrow. tomorrow. And Hadara's letting me drive today. What? What? A faceless baby. Doesn't quack.